Hey guys, welcome back to Minute Watch, and this is the Seiko SNZF15. And uh, I told you guys I was going to do a project with this, and I'm really excited about this project. This is going to be, this is going to be something cool. And uh, just like the title says, it's going to be called the Bliss Mod, and I'll tell you what that means later. And this is my own, uh, it's my own name, um, because it's going to make me so happy. It's going to make me so happy. <laughs> but uh, so remember what this watch looks like, and. Uh, just take a take a gander at it. Let me get closer. Just uh, look at it. Pay attention to it because it's going to be very different looking when I'm done with it. So first things first, we need to take off the bracelet uh, to save time. This is going to be without a bracelet in three, two, one. Giggity. And we're off the bracelet. So here's the bracelet. It's super off. If you want to see a review for this watch, uh, I have a I have a review uh, that I do. Click on the link in the about section below for that. So we're gonna take out the movement now, and for that I'm gonna get my tools. And first we're gonna remove the back cover. I've already loosened it with a with a case back removal tool, and I'm just using the the little ball of justice here. Lammy, the ball of justice. Get out of here. And then we're gonna do that. So, let's take out the take out the movement here. So, I'm gonna push down on that little thing right here. There's a little lever right there, right where I'm pointed. See that? And there's like a little dimple. Can you see it? Can you see it? You push down right there. So, I'm gonna push down on that and take out the crown and stem. Oh, so easy! And then I'm gonna actually put it on. I'm going to put it on this this business card here and give it a few taps. That came out super easy. And then I'm just going to put it on this little watch sofa here just for safekeeping. Anyway, so we've got the case off. I'm actually going to uh, give a little bit of a polish to the edge of this bezel right here because it's a little rough. So I'm going to polish that up. And you don't need to remove the bezel for this crystal swap replacement. This is a modern dial and you don't need to do that. A uh, modern case. So, I had to wait for a couple of hours to do this video because there's just so much noise going on around my, my house and it's just driving me crazy. Animals and planes taking off and whatnot. I do see that there's a... Ooh, this might not work because of the chapter ring. I might have to find a smaller one than this. Yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> you never know until you open her up, Captain. Is that gonna work? Oh, that is too... that chapter ring is not making things easy, so... I have to use this one. That one... that one will work, so let's use that one. The small one. The small nubby nubbies. Okay. And we're just going to not even give it a shit. And that is out. <laughs> you can see this. It's a pretty thick, thick crystal. That came out surprisingly easy. That came out surprisingly easy. So, I'm also going to pop off this uh, bezel insert. Uh, how do I do that? I am not sure how to do that. I am going to have to figure that out. I'll be right back. <sighs> All right, we got the we got the uh, insert off. It's just held together with uh, with uh, contact cement, just like what I use. It's just it's not it's not two sided tape or nothing. It's just contact cement. Uh, or is it? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's just uh, contact cement or a real thin layer of tape, but it looks like just the cement. And I uh, polished up the edge of the bezel just a little bit with my uh, with my rotary tool. Um, and uh, the gasket for the crystal is still in there, so let's uh, let's uh, let's put the crystal in, shall we? Let's do the thing. And uh, oh, okay. Change this up to a bigger, bigger one. We're gonna need something a little bit bigger. Uh, that's what she said. No, she didn't. She never said that ever. That's uh... 
Why did I say that? Why did I say that? So we're gonna we're just gonna somehow magically get this thing on. It's gonna somehow work at some point in the universe. It's gonna there you go. Okay. And uh got the Crystal from Crystal Times, of course. I made a big old order, so I just got a whole bunch of them for a bunch of projects I'm gonna do. And uh, Alex from Crystal Times is a good guy. He he makes sure I get he, I get what I need. And uh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a super nice, guys. Let's put on the finger rubbers here. Just gotta practice uh, safe horology. All right. So we're going to get this crystal. This is going to be sweet, guys. This is going to be so sweet. And then we're going to stick it right there. Make sure it's nice and level. This one's difficult to make sure it's level because there's no real reference points. So I'm just going to wing it and uh, see what happens. Just going to wing it. Pressy pressies. I wonder if this is even the crystal. <laughs> All right. Oh wow. Uh, no. <laughs> I am gonna have to try this a few times to get it right. So I'll. Uh, I'm gonna do this a few times and I'll be back. All right. I got the crystal on. It's all good. So. I had to put a little bit of silicone grease on there. So now I'm going to put the case cover back on. Put the case cover back on. And uh, we're just going to give it a nice big thing. And then we're going to stick this crown in like so. This is not a screw down crown, by the way, as you should know. And we get the case back tool just to make it a little bit tight because we're going to stick it in water and uh, see what happens when we stick it in water so get it uh, get it good good there while we're waiting a uh, show suggestion I suggest you guys watch Westworld Westworld is pretty pretty awesome <laughs> so here we go we're gonna stick this sucker in water see what happens and uh, we're just gonna leave it like that for about maybe uh, 10 minutes I'm gonna go watch some shows and then, uh, and then we'll be back. Ow! All right, it's been about 15 minutes. <laughs> and I'm going to take the case out and I'm going to wipe it behind the camera because put this water away for safety purposes. And, uh, ooh, get it all nice and dry. It's super clean now with the, with the water in there. And, uh, yeah. Okay. So, looks good. Looks I, no water in the case. Um, I got something to say. Oh, <laughs> hey, Uncle Jimmy, what's going on? Okay. Um, remember in that uh that other video that one guy said like, how oh, can you not uh, uh only use uh cold water? Then you can't take a shower in your pajamas or something like that you gotta use hot water too mm, yeah that's a good point yeah that's a good point what are you getting at okay if you don't use also hot water you're a pussy <laughs> get out of here no i'm serious you gotta you, you gotta do it hot water for all the people otherwise they're gonna think you're a pussy okay no nah, you're right uncle jimmy okay guys we're gonna we're gonna go be we're gonna be back uh, i'm gonna get some hot water Okay, and we're back. So I got some hot water here, and I'm going to have a digital thermometer. And as you can see, it's 78.4 degrees Fahrenheit when it at the water. And that is... Uh, getting down there. It's about 129 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's about 54.4 centigrade. Or Celsius, or whatever. So it's on the hot side. It's like a hot shower, like a real hot shower. So I'm going to dip it in there. And uh, we're just going to let that sit for about five minutes, and then we'll be back. Do you like that, Uncle Jimmy? Uh, you, you're still a pussy. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, we'll be back. All right, guys, it's been about eight minutes, and it's dropped to 109, 110 degrees 
and uh, yeah, so it's, it's drops a lot. It's like a hot shower. And uh, let's just see if anything has happened. I'm gonna definitely have to let this cool off and open the case up again, obviously, because I gotta put the movie back. Um, see if anything fogged up on the inside. And uh, super legit test. Oh, yep, yeah, it is. It is definitely fogging up on the inside because of the uh, temperature differential. But judging from what I can see, uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. And I'm gonna let this cool off, and then we're gonna put the uh, the movement back in, and then we're gonna put the the bezel back in. But wait a minute, I'm actually gonna put a different bezel. That's right, the stock bezel is going bye bye, whatever that is. It's gonna get a new bezel, so I'll be back out after about ten minutes. But you're not gonna see that, so yeah. All right, I let it cool down. I made sure there was no dust or fingerprints or anything on the inside. Cleaned it up a little bit. So we're gonna put the movement back in, and then we're gonna put the custom bezel on. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush on some contact cement, and then stick it on after I put the movement back in to align it. And uh, not gonna really show that because, uh, well, that's just reverse of taking the movement out and gluing this on is pretty. <laughs> Not that uh, explanation is not really needed, so I'll be back. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. And, uh, well, I decided to do something. And this is why this mod is called the Bliss Mod. So, um, this picture right here, pew, this is my SNK L07. And I figured that since Seiko does things to save money, that it would fit right inside my SNZH, uh, my SNZ15. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> everything is all done, and I was right, because here we go, guys. That's it. That is my SNZH-15 with the SNK L07 dial, dial and movement. I just popped it out of the one watch, then popped it in this one. It fits perfectly. Everything. Per I just reused the, the crown from the SNZ-15, uh, SNZF-15, and... Oh, would you just look at that? It's got the blue Dagaz bezel. This is an aluminum bezel insert. And this this strap is a sailcloth strap from a, from Mr. Sailcloth out of Singapore. And I'll put the, uh, the information in the About section below if you want to pick some up. They're really nice. I really, really like them. But would you just look at this thing, man? Oh, man, this thing is just glorious. Now, this is my ha, huh, this is my favorite mod thus far, and they're only going to get better. And the reason that I call this the Bliss mod is because loving it simply Seiko. Boom, my phrase is probably stupid AF, but <laughs> whatever, it's it makes sense because it's so blissful and this is a purple reflective uh, a purple anti-reflective coating and uh, it, in days to come I'm going to be posting pictures on Instagram you guys will be able to see that that coating in action and the dome is very slight it's a very slight dome this this thing is glorious so ain't nobody gonna have this watch right now this is just a super like custom yet it's still it still remains Seiko and now that the, the sports thing is missing um, it's a little bit cleaner it's just, it's just a little bit cleaner overall you know I really really like this now let, let's just put it on my wrist ah oh, guys oh, <laughs> I am so stoked I am so stoked on this thing oh man would you just look at that yes 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 ah oh, a little bit tight but uh, really loving the sailcloth straps. There's a bunch of different options. Like I said, I'll put the uh, in information on how you can get these straps in the about section below. And they're they're affordable. I think they're around 35 bucks if I'm not mistaken. But it uh, that might be wrong. But uh, yeah, this is so nice. Now, what did I do with the other dial and move it? Well, I put it in the case from the SNK L07. And here's another strap. From Mr. Sailcloth, the black strap on black on black, and uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So basically, I have two 
new custom watches. Oh, that one's got dust in the dial. I gotta fix that, but whatever. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Gosh, what do you guys think about this? Uh, let, me, let me take it off again. What do you guys think about this? I don't mind that this is a 7S26 versus this 7S36. Don't mind at all. This is all about looks. They're, pro they're both pretty much the same. And uh, it, keeping with the diver uh, style, this does have really good loom. And just just love it. And this has opened up such a big world for me now. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I might sell this. <laughs> but I also want to keep it at the same time. Gosh, this thing is so sick. What kind of nickname should we uh, give this watch? And it's, it's a sea urchin, but it's now... Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's give it a nickname. All right. Uh, that's my video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>